Hey, what up, Noof Gang? You know what it is. This one goes out to all my monoatomic elements out there. This one's for you. MC Newfeld on the mic. In the quarantine of 2020. About to drop some knowledge on you. Alright, let's get it. I'm gonna bond together two completely different atoms and a strong ionic bond is exactly how it happens. Got selenium beryllium from two different sides of the periodic table. So now we can try to stick them together with electrostatic force. We're gonna need a little information, of course. You see, ionic bonding has only one goal, to make atoms outermost orbital full. <laughs> Selenium's in group 16, beryllium 2. Their position on the table guarantees us a clue. Beryllium's a metal and selenium's not, which means that number 34 wants what number 4's got. The number of electrons in the outermost shell is the most important info for this bond to go well. Group 16 means that C has 6. It needs 2 more to get its orbital fixed. Beryllium's got 2, so it needs 6 more. But moving 6 electrons sounds like too much of a chore. Making a full shell is not as hard as pulling teeth, cause it's got a filled up shell sitting right Right underneath. Expendable, not needed here is what I gotta shout at these two valence electrons, cause it's time to get them out. They'll jump to the non-metal where they get appreciated. Selenium's outer shell is completely satiated. When we moved around electrons, the effect was pretty large. They're positive and negative. That's right, they got a charge, like charges repel. But opposites attract. Cations and anions will now interact. Being pulled together is how these atoms respond. Now these two are stuck together in an ionic bond.